Hey everybody, I recently had a chance to talk with Chief Innovation Officer on the Payments Podium. Yes, a Chief Innovation Officer. Wait, what Chief Innovation Officer? Lisa Coffey. Lisa Coffey is the Chief Innovation Officer over at Corporate America Credit Union. And we discussed, you ready for this? Innovation. Want to hear what was discussed? Stay tuned for more. See, that's right, we discussed innovation, and it was innovation in credit unions. Well, it does kind of apply to all financial institutions. I want you to know, we started off by talking about how Lisa got started in the banking industry. This is what she had to say. Oh, uh, I started work when I was 12, and I was a proof operator <laughs> and a teller. And uh, my mom worked at the corporate credit union in Tennessee, and she, my dad got transferred. So she said, this is a great place to work, Lisa. You really should work for a credit union. So I did. I took her spot. Back in the day, when a teller took a check-in for deposit, it went up to the back room or dungeon, what we called it, called proof, where <clears throat> every check we had to encode with magnetic ink. And on the back, it would stamp the bank of first deposit on the back, and then it would go to the sorter for processing and cash learning for collection. Like I said, Lisa has had a long and great career. How many of you found it interesting to learn about what a proof operator is? What was really interesting is how working in those types of positions and in the back office helped Lisa to see areas where innovation was truly needed. Here's a little bit about what she said about the future of innovation in electronic banking. Going to image technology was a huge disruptor, I guess. Then 9-11 um, was a huge disruptor for uh, Check 21, uh, was called the Check Truncation Act, remember, before that we could never get through, and then 9-11 happened we were able to do it, you know, no questions asked there. <clears throat> and that was a huge, huge disrupt. For credit unions, it was difficult uh, for them to process their deposits. They mainly used other banks. Hearing about innovation like the Check 21 app was huge for the industry. But Lisa also went on to discuss some of the things that we are seeing now and also finding ways to make things work. Here are a couple more examples. Corporate credit unions were like a banker's bank. I can look at any, I can go to any asset size credit union and talk about their pain points and what they're seeing. And then I can look at the payment processing um, platforms that we have today and see across states and across, you know, accounts, what type of activity is going on. And for, you know, it is we uh, looked at just the ACH transactions of the credit unions we process um, in um, incoming and outgoing ACH files. And we just started looking at all the volume and what the cash out volume and dollar amount was and started saying, taking that information to our members and saying, uh, your members just aren't asking you for it because you don't have it and they're going somewhere else. And look at how much money is going out there and not to you. I just loved how Lisa discussed finding ways to satisfy member needs via new payment rails, like RTP. And that wasn't all. Lisa had a lot to say in this podcast, especially when it came to how they are looking at their members and wondering, are members actually asking for faster payments? And the innovative ways in which Corporate American Credit Union has found and proven, yes, that is proven, that yes, indeed, credit union members are asking for faster payments. Maybe you just aren't looking in the right place or seeing what they're saying. More shall be revealed. You'll want to hear the entire podcast. And you can find the entire podcast on the Payments Professor website in the Payments Podium section. Or you can also find the podcast anywhere you listen to your podcast. It is The Payments Podium with The Payments Professor. And by the way, if there is a topic, maybe someone you think should be on The Payments Podium, then email me, kevin at paymentsprofessor.com, and let me know who it is or what topic you would like to see. 
As always, we appreciate your support and we look forward to making electronic banking educational, fun, engaging, and when possible, a little entertaining. Class dismissed. Thank you.